YouTube, it's Demi, and tonight I am back at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Tonight I'm going to be dining at Boma. This is an African-inspired buffet. I am doing the dinner. They also have a breakfast, which I hope to be doing soon. This is actually my first time dining here, so I am very excited. I really love this style of food, so I am super, super excited to be trying this out. I have only heard the best things about Boma, so let's get in there, let's get into some eating, and let's go get into some hijinks. I was just taken to my seat. A server's gonna come to you and take your drink order. There is lots of drink options here. We have a full wine list, red wine, and we have some beer, more wine on the back, white wine, sparkling wine, a couple of signature cocktails, but wait, there is more. A few more beer selections here and even more cocktails, margaritas, mojitos, mai tais, martinis galore. They all look so good, but I'm actually gonna skip out today, but they look great, but there's even more. On the back, they have some non-alcoholic mocktails, watermelon lemonade, pomegranate lemonade, grapefruit spritzer, and a sparkling nojito. Sounds great, but I'm gonna skip because I wanna save room for that stuff all the way over there. Let's go check it out. All right, let's start looking at everything. First we have sweet corn pudding and chococola jam, olive oil, herb crusted potatoes, and orange almond emulsion. I'm gonna butcher some of these words tonight, my friends. Crushed salmon. This looks so good. This is spiced pork ribs with tamarind honey barbecue sauce. Here is something that gets carved and served to you. It's the African carved strip loin. Next we have the Durban style roasted chicken. Durban is the largest city in the South African province of the KwaZulu Natal. Next we have Bobodi. This next station is definitely for your not as adventurous eaters. We have some chicken tenders and mac and cheese, penne pasta, marinara and meatballs, and corn peas and carrots. Here is our next lineup. First we have peanut rice, coconut milk, soy sauce, and ginger. Next we have spiced green beans with golden raisins. Next we have West African black eyed peas and stewed uh, tomatoes. And then we have basmati rice. Made it to the soup section. First we have Cape Malay lamb curry, South African inspired tomato based jalapeno spice lamb curried stew. Next we have butternut squash soup and that looks so good. I, I think I might have to try that one. Next we have sambal chicken corn chowder, sambal cream based chicken corn chowder. And finally we have, I'm might gonna might butcher this, creme, it's C-H-R-I-E-M-E, -E, Tanzanian seafood stew. Next up we have Harira and that's all it said so I looked it up and it said it was a North African like, st uh, like stew with like lentils and tomato. It sounded pretty good. Next we have avocado, papaya, and grapefruit salad. Here is the salad station. First we have a pasta salad and curried mayonnaise. And behind it we have a cool slaw, a mayonnaise uh, based cabbage slaw. Next we have tabbouleh salad. I love tabbouleh salad, I eat that a lot. And then we have Burberry chickpea salad. Then we have Tanzanian couscous and shrimp salad. And finally, North African cauliflower salad. And then the last like savory area is just like a general like little salad bar. Calamal olives, chickpeas, lentils, uh, dog dolls, buttermilk dressing, feta cheese, chili cilantro vinaigrette, cucumber, onions, tomato, mixed greens, onion, cucumber. And that's your salad bar. Wait, I forgot about bread. How could we forget about the bread? So we have some bread and we have some wonderful looking dips. We have hummus, we have sun-dried tomato hummus, coriander hummus, lavosh thin flatbread. We have mealy bread, which is sweet cornbread muffins and pita bread. Moving on to some sweeter options. We have some Boma fruit salad. We have watermelon, strawberries, grapes, and we have spiced cottage cheese with pineapple chutney. The last few stations are dessert, so stay tuned because we're gonna have to have some dinner first before we check out dessert. Okay, here is my haul. I kind of got like basically a bit of everything. I kind of went around and got 
<laughs> I did like a tour, like where I started, where at the beginning and got a little bit of everything, plus one piece of watermelon. And I ended up getting the butternut squash soup. I will go over everything I eat and review it. And I'm super excited. Everything looks good and smells good. Let's dig into some boha. Okay, let's first try the sweet corn pudding with spinach and chaka kala jam. Okay, let's do it. Okay, it's very sweet. It's creamy and then there's like little little bits of chunk in there. Um, I don't mean to sound like rude about it because it's really not bad, but I'm having a stigma toward it. It kind of could remind you of something that you don't want to taste in your mouth, if you know what I mean. But honestly, I think it's just me. It's probably just me. I don't know why I'm just having this weird stigma toward it. It's really not bad. I'm just, I think it's just texture and the sweetness coming through with those chunks. Um, it's just not for me personally, but it is very sweet and very smooth with those little bitty chunks in it. So that's why I, I think texture wise, it is just not for me. But let me know if you've had it and what you thought of it. Next up, we have some of that orange almond salmon with that word I couldn't say. M M Illusion? Why can't I say that word? I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's a word that I probably say regularly and I'm just having a moment. Let's try the salmon. Ooh. Mmm, you can really taste the orange in there. I like that. Oh my gosh, I love this. Mmm. Okay. That is really good and it's just making me want to go home and put orange on all of my salmon. I actually learned to eat salmon in Walt Disney World at Akashuris and Epcot back in 2019. Now I eat salmon all the time. Um, that's really good. I really like the flavor on that. Not getting much of any like almond, but that, that orange mm, is so good. That is a really good flavor on there. Next, we have that spiced pork rib with the Terramin honey sauce. I'm very excited about this one. It's okay. It tastes like a very good spare rib. There's nothing like really too spectacular about it, but good flavor. Yeah, it's nice and smoky, not chewy or anything. Very good. Next up, we have the African carved strip loin. Let's give that a try. Looks very fatty over here. I'm gonna just kind of take this part over here. Ooh, there's some nice flavors on there. I actually want to take another bite. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of the fat. Okay, that was definitely too much. It was too extra. I couldn't swallow that. I had to take it out. But there actually was really good flavor on there. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like amazing either. So it was just okay, like pretty good, decent steak. Pretty decent flavor. Next is the babodi. It's mincemeat with like an egg topping. Let's try it. Mm. I really like the flavors in the meat. Very nice like African flavors in there. It's been sitting on my plate a little too long so it's a little cold but that's my fault. I actually really like this. This is like, I know this is mincemeat like dinner egg dinner but uh, mm. I would also do this because it's eggs as like a breakfast too which I'm sure is wrong but I like it it's really tasty this has a lot of really good flavor and it's very unique and that's why I like coming to places like this where you can get those really like really good and unique flavors so far this is I think my favorite thing mm. yeah for sure out of everything so far that's my favorite Next is that Durban style roasted chicken. Let's give it a try. Kind of just tastes like roasted chicken, nothing really, anything special, but it's good. Very tasty, good. Very tasty, I like it. Next up we have that like coconut rice with like the ginger in it and all the fun stuff. I'm excited to try this one. I think it was coconut milk actually. Oh, peanut. And peanuts, coconut milk, peanuts. It's very peanutty. Honestly, it just tastes like I took a scoop of peanut butter. A little heat, not like a lot, but like a little. Not really heat, but like a little kick. Interesting. Kind of weird, but interesting. 
It really just tastes like I took a scoop of peanut butter. I'm not mad about it though. I realized I should have eaten my soup first, but because it wasn't, I, I'm just, like I've been doing it in like sequential order of how we saw the bar, and this was next. <laughs> Let's try the squash soup. <laughs> Okay, if you know me, you know I love the fall. You know I thrive in the fall. You know that's why I'll probably never leave New York, ever. Um, if you're new to this channel, I'm actually from New York and I travel here like frequently to create all this content. Um, and I, 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 I love the fall um, more than anything. And this just tastes like a bowl of fall spices. This is heaven. Wow. That is so good. It's super creamy. Again, it's like nutmeg and allspice. That is, I want to take that home, eat it every day, and put on Hocus Pocus and decorate my house for Halloween and eat it forever. That is amazing. That's amazing. I'm gonna try the last few things very quickly. Just, I want to put on the couscous on my plate. Not the couscous, the bully salad, that is what I meant. Pretty good tabbouleh salad. I ate a lot of tabbouleh salad at home. I like that a lot. And I wanted to try one of the hummuses. So I got that. One of those fun hummuses with pita bread. Mmm. Really good flavor. Very happy with the meal here. Was it the most spectacular meal? I don't know about that. That soup though. Mm. Definitely a lot of great and unique flavors up there. We'll talk about it more at the end, but let's go get dessert because it's very much winding down here. It's a very late reservation, and I want to go get some, some fun desserts. First, we have some banana bread pudding, and it comes on the side with some vanilla sauce. That looks really good. Next, we have some classic chocolate chip cookies and some mini cupcakes with vanilla frosting. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. First, we have a pineapple financier. We have a passion fruit mousse, a hazelnut brownie, a Kenyan coffee tart, and of course, the famous zebra domes. And I actually have never had a zebra dome before. I know it's incredibly shocking, and I'm so excited to finally have one tonight, and you all get to witness it. I'm very excited for a zebra dome. Okay, I got a little bit of everything. Of course, I made a mess when I was grabbing stuff because it's me, but let's try everything. Let's first try this bread pudding. Actually, what? no, no, We're, let's try the zebra dome. Why are we doing this to ourselves? My moment has finally come. What if, what if I hate it? Like, <laughs> I know everyone loves this. What if I hate it? Would you all hate me if I hate this? I don't even really know what's, what if I don't like this? I'll probably love it. It looks like something I would like. <laughs> Listen, I know I could have gotten it at the Mara, but I just never slept over here to get, to get it. It wasn't my priority, but now I'm here and I have it. I'm very excited to try it. So cheers to Zebra Domes. in your mouth that's so good okay now I understand life and priorities no I would I would 100% um, schlep all the way over here just for this yeah all right now I don't want anything else I don't want anything else I just want more of those I just want more of those I'm just gonna go, go back and get a plate of just those I'm not even kidding I'm not even kidding I literally don't care. I got four. I, I'm going to be eating these. I'm going. I didn't eat all day today. I just ate what I just ate at Boma. I understand that was still food, um, and I understand that this is still a lot of, of zebra domes. But um, I have now fallen in love with these, and I'm. I don't care. You can judge me all you want, and you're not coming here for um, for that or that. I'm, no, I'm probably. It's probably going to be good. Um, no, I'll try it for you guys, but like seriously, this is heaven. It's worth it. Yes, I'm telling you. You know I don't overhype anything. That is delicious. So basically, like melts in your mouth. 
It's creamy, it's chocolatey. I love the texture from the from the sprinkles. It kind of has like a liqueur taste to it as well. It's very unique. It's something I feel like I've never had before in my entire life. I really could never believe that anything was so overhyped that was this good. But it is. I love it. It's really good. Why is it so good? Yeah, there's definitely like some type of like liqueur to in this and it that makes it really good. But that crunch from the sprinkles, that's what nails it. It's all those different textures and flavors together. It just makes it just perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. This is the reason to even come here at all. That's so good. Okay, but been bread pudding in the vanilla sauce. It's fine, it's good. Nothing wrong with it. Zebra domes are better. <laughs> Nothing's gonna top it. This thing that I've already forgot what it is. Go rewind the video to remember what it is. Cause this is the point of the video where I just wanted to eat the zebra domes. Actually, that's very tasty. It's very tart. It's very light, very sweet, tart. I like that a lot. Still prefer the zebra domes. <laughs> no, that's actually very good. I'm gonna be serious. Um, if you like a, a tarty, like, mousse, that's very delicious. This is the pineapple financier. Mm, that's actually really good. Very, very creamy in the middle. Not like, not like cream, but like soft. Pineapple's very nice. Like very, um, soft. Nice good pineapple flavors. I like that. Chocolate one. Oh my god very rich very very chocolatey it's just like it's, very, it's just very very chocolatey even dark chocolatey it's like a mix of like lots of chocolate flavors it's too heavy for me too rich for me but if you like that you'll probably love it you can really taste that coffee flavor in there as well but it's just way too rich like I feel kind of removed from it it's very very heavy and finally the brownie pretty good budgie not bad at all. Nothing really too exciting. You know what is exciting though? Zebra <laughs> Wow. What an incredibly cool and surprising evening here at Boma. Now I feel sick. I ate too much sugar. Well, my dudes, that was Boma Flavors of Africa. For my first time there, honestly, like, I thought it was just kind of okay. I thought there were some definitely better dishes than others. I really liked the babodi. Um, I liked, obviously, the zebra domes were my favorite. Um, but honestly, like, the bill for one person came out to, like, with tip, like, over, you know, almost like $57, I believe it was. So, I, I don't really know. I mean, I honestly maybe just don't get enough out of buffets. I don't really go back for seconds. So maybe that's why it's not for me. If you're a person who like goes back and forth, maybe that's why this may be for you. Um, but personally, I'd rather take that and go across the hall and go back to Jiko for some really great African flavors, even though I do really like the zebra domes. I just didn't really find anything too really spectacular. Um, but if you do like that buffet style, maybe this is for you. I really would like to come back though and try their breakfast. I don't think there's really anything wrong with Boma. I just don't think it's personally something for me. Um, again, as somebody who doesn't go back for seconds who just wants a little bit of um, you know everything but actually as a person who does like to try a little bit of everything I do like the fact that that is possible here but nothing really wowed me here that's the only thing nothing really was like wow though except that soup the soup really did wow me but I don't know if it wowed me enough to be like oh I need to come back to Boma like right now but I would never turn down an invitation and I would definitely come back here and I wouldn't say not to come here at all I think it's a very great buffet I think that's some great Great flavors and I really love African flavors and if you want to try African flavors or if you like African flavors this is definitely a spot that I would recommend and it's like somewhat easy sometimes to get a reservation so definitely be on the lookout for it if you're interested in trying Boma 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that comes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Be, check, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon, become a patron. You'll get exclusive bonus content and you'll be helping me to continue bringing great content here on this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.